The reason why employers use employees like slaves. Sometimes at the beginning of this year, my company decided to run an online survey. This survey was targeted at the employees. Since I've never really worked in a corporate world, I wanted to know how people feel about having a job, whether they like their jobs and if they don't, we wanted to know what they hate most about having a job. In today's video, I'll share with you the result of that online survey and the reason why many employers treat their employees like slaves. If you are new here, consider subscribing so you won't miss other interesting videos like this. Here's the thing, there was no surprise with our study as we found out that more than 90% of people said they hated their jobs. What surprised us however are the details of what makes people hate their jobs. When asked why they hate their jobs, many people complained about their boss, colleagues and the fact that they are not appreciated which means that for these people, the job is not the problem but the job's environment. Result, Result, Result A few days ago, I was reading the news about hundreds of employees of Facebook who are unpaid. The first question you ask is, how can one of the richest companies in the world underpay people? The answer to that question is very simple. The result, profit. Many entrepreneurs are result driven individuals. The meaning of this is that the only thing that matters to them is the result, the profit for themselves and for the shareholders. Some people think that this is a bad thing but I disagree. Instead, I'm here to tell you that this is human nature. I don't know why most people aren't getting it but it's very simple. Nobody thinks about you first. Everyone puts themselves first. Everyone is selfish. Everyone thinks about themselves first even if they will think about you later. The only time someone else thinks about you first is when you can hurt them or when they know that you are valuable to their progress. Take for instance, if you are the smartest engineer in Facebook Incorporated, nobody in the world will ever hear that you are underpaid because you will never be underpaid. The reason why the smartest engineers in Facebook will not be underpaid is not that Zuckerberg likes them but because their absence can hurt the company. Again, it's for a selfish purpose. Nobody cares about you as much as you want to think. Some people think that selfishness is bad and I agree but guess what? You are as selfish as I am. What is the way out of this mess? If you can, do everything in your power to never be at the mercy of another human being. You have two ways to go about this. Start your own business or become very valuable in another person's business. These two ways are very tough but those are the only two ways to avoid being treated like a slave. Anything that's too much loses its value. I once heard a job seeker say something like, I don't know what to do. Whenever I go for an interview, I go with everything the employer wants but for no reason, they won't just call me back. Well, the reason why they don't call her back is that 20 other people have gone to the same interview with her and for whatever reason, the employer thought that someone other than her was the best for the job. I hate to spread bad news here but here is one. Most employers will not value employees as long as too many people compete for a few jobs. We may not like this but it's the truth. Anything that's too much loses its value. When there are 30 people lining up for one job, that just gives ungodly power to the employer and there's no way we'll expect him to cherish the employee except we have angles as an employer. So what should you do? If I wear your shoes, I'll avoid being among the crowd. As a matter of rule, I don't compete for anything in life. I work hard to create my own world. I work hard to differentiate myself. I work hard to acquire skills that most people cannot acquire so that I'll be able to do what they can't do. This is what I advise you to do because as long as you're like everyone, you'll be lost in the crowd and nobody will value you. Soldiers are not nice. I grew up in a society where soldiers sometimes misbehave. I've heard stories of how soldiers beat people 
and I can tell you that soldiers aren't nice. But think about this, soldiers are ordinary humans. What makes them tough is the training and pains they have gone through. Many times when you see entrepreneurs who are harsh, they are not bad people. They are harsh because like soldiers, they had gone through very difficult things in the past and this is the second reason why you may think that an employer treat people like slaves. The problem about most employees is that they cannot in their wildest imagination understand what most entrepreneurs went through before they built the company they are working for. For instance, an average entrepreneur has spent a decade before he even has a company anyone knows. Those 10 years were hellfire. I've been there and I can tell you that there are only a few things in the world that are more difficult than building a business. What then happens is that after going through such hellfire, it's very easy for an entrepreneur to treat his employees like a slave. He doesn't treat them like a slave because he's a demon. He treats them like a slave because he himself had been a slave for several years in the past. Now, I'm not making excuses for the bad behavior of any employer because I don't care about them but I care about you and that's why I'm making this video to open your eyes. You see, it's a fantasy to expect that other human beings should treat you well. Most people simply won't treat you well as long as you are at their mercy. Be your own king. I'm always amazed at the numbers of people who think that they are stopped. So many people simply believe that they don't have any power to change their own life. This is not true because you can actually change your life. You can be your own king. You can create your own world. You can have your own kingdom. This doesn't mean that you must be an entrepreneur. Not everybody can be an entrepreneur but everybody can be very valuable. It's your skills that make you valuable. It's what you can do, the solutions you can create that will differentiate you from everyone else. If you work very hard to develop yourself, if you keep on learning, keep on acquiring valuable skills, keep on reading good books, you keep on increasing your value as an individual. When you become highly valuable, people will stop taking you for granted. Even if you are an employee, as long as you are much more valuable than most people, your employer will respect you. In conclusion, as long as we have 50 people running after 5 jobs, employers will always underpay, disrespect and use employees as slaves. It's your responsibility to not be a victim. You can only do that by separating yourself from the crowd. If you can, become an entrepreneur. If you think you can't be an entrepreneur, you have to work hard to be very valuable than almost everyone because if you are not much more valuable than everyone, nobody will treat you as you want. Stop expecting your employer to treat you well. Stop expecting other human beings to be nice to you. Make yourself so much valuable that people have no choice but to honor you. Thank you very much for watching our videos. We'd like to give you another interesting video for you to enjoy next but before then, our team will be very happy if you can like this video and share it with your friends on social media. If you're new here, don't forget to subscribe so you won't miss other interesting videos like this. Now look at your screen to see two other videos we have picked for you to enjoy next. We love you.